All right, this is Eddie. He came into our office at Vibrious Credit Solutions. He had a challenge with uh, a local uh, company that he was working with to get credit. And he found out that there were some data reports that were actually preventing him from getting credit. And he didn't know that they existed and didn't know how they got access to uh, his credit. Uh, but he did receive an email from the company that he tried to get credit from and uh, they actually noted the two data report providers in his email and saying that they were uh, or information that they had was the reason that he was declined. I'll let Eddie uh, take over and tell us what happened. Eddie? I stopped at a furniture store to buy some furniture from my new apartment and I was talking to the gentleman at the desk and he wanted to ask me some questions. I said, I don't want a credit report pulled. I don't want no bank financing. I'm good on credit. He says to me, he wanted to just check to make sure that I was not bouncing checks. They wanted my credit account to make sure that I am not bouncing checks to get approved for my furniture sales. I said, I didn't need to do that. I could pay cash for it or get my own financing if I had to do it. So in the meantime, I offered to give him after he asked me again for my bank account number, and he said again to make sure they were, I was not bossing checks. Okay, so he turns around and he says to me that the company denied me. I said, what company denied me? I said, I did not give you permission to run my credit report. I go, you made it clear to me you are not credit running my credit report. Then he turned around and he says to me that the reason they denied me was because they had the wrong bank number. So he asked me to call Chase Bank and go ahead and get an account number from them. I got an account number from them, which was Michigan. It's actually a routing number. He turned around, he ran the routing number, he took, comes back and he says to me, I was approved. I go, what do you mean I was approved? I said, you guaranteed me you were not running it. I gave you no permission to run it. To make a long story short, I walked out of there. I thought I was buying some furniture. I gave them some cash up front. A week later, before my delivery, I was looking into my junk mail. I found this email that came back from these two outside companies saying that I had an ineligible bank account. I have never heard of such a thing. I've been with my bank all my life. I looked at it. I followed the address for one of the companies based here in Las Vegas. I went to the office. The door was closed and locked. Some lady came out of the restroom. I said, I'm looking for data X. She says, what can I help you with? I go, here, look at my email. I go, I did not approve of this. This was done behind my back. I don't know how it was done. I go, can we go in the office and talk? She says, you could tell me what's wrong here. She goes, I could get a hold of them and relay the message to them. I go, well, if you know where they're at, why don't you give me their address? I'll drive over there myself. She goes, I really don't know where they moved to. So she took down my phone number and my name and she guaranteed me that somebody will call me to this day. I have not heard nothing back from them. Okay, so essentially the two companies that were listed in the email were companies that you did not give permission to access your credit report or your bank accounts, but you saw in the email from the creditor that was actually the furniture company uh, that these two companies reported some information about you that was an adverse uh, action and suggested that you should not be approved for credit. And that's why you went to one of the companies located here in Las Vegas, and they seemed to give you the runarounds. And as a result, you came to Vivex Credit Solutions uh, with no appointment, but just to find out more about what this could be. And lo and behold, I happen to be here. Uh, my name is Gabriel Brown, and I showed you in my data report system a book filled with data report providers and I showed you the two companies that were actually listed on the adverse action letter and I said I would do what for you? That you would help me out to send personalized letters to these two companies to put a freeze on my account and also that you were going to refer me to an attorney to help me out with the situation pro bono yes. to take, try to take care of my situation with me with this furniture company and also with these two data providers. Absolutely, that I've never heard of. What did I say I would charge you? Zero. Excellent. Not one penny. Excellent. Thank you.